That's I it. mean, we, we encourage it, and you say you should do it, but saying it and encouraging is, is one thing. When they're doing it, and you see this kind of stuff going on. It's well, inspiring. in the pits, you could go to any team and ask for tools, ask for advice, ask for, can you come over and show me? And they were all great about that. That's, it was more like a car show, you know, like, come on over and look at my Ford, and hey, how'd you do that? And, hey, I yeah, need one they, of those. Start, oh, well, here, take they this. They start dating before they do the math homework, and then it just goes downhill from there. Remember, always do your math homework before you date or before you go to bed. If, and actually before you eat. But, you know, I know food's a big motivator also. My favorite thing to do is, like, right now I can eat is, is what I'm going to eat for dinner. I actually have them. They put another sandwich in my room when I go back to, you know, I had a steak for dinner, and then there's a sandwich waiting for me to get back there at, like, 3 in the morning. It's going to be a BLT. I can't wait. She has like back camera music. Dun 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 dun. We got back camera. We don't. We lost arm camera. I like that robot. Robot. Okay. It looked like she was tightening the bolts down, like she's getting out. Well, I don't know if the audience is aware of this, but all the all the video feed from the from the team's ROV is being recorded, and they will receive a DVD with their presentation to the judges and their video feed during their mission. Good robot. He's been, that robot's really well behaved. You know, sometimes when you work in these robots, they get a little upset and they'll start just, you know, sparking and arcing and it's like, looks like they're going to go back in. They're going to re-engage. Arm. Got it. Hold it. That's right. Leave it open. They're testing all their motors and their claw and they're about to go back into the water. Woohoo! Kick the tires and light the fires. In this case, kick the fans. Yeah. Light the batteries. <laughs> there we go. Going yeah, in, it looks going like it's going back in the water. Woohoo! Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and they're back. Go! Submerge. Or Go least stampede. Not safe, you can slide your chair back. You guys are my heroes. <laughs> all my heroes, but you know. Right now. No, we can't do this. Surface again. Surface. You guys, we have to bring it up. There's something a bleak that we didn't catch. Although it looks uh oh, there appears. Like it appears video. to be that they did not fix their leak on their camera correctly. Do you guys see where the bubbles are coming from? I see water in this camera right here. All right, pull us up. Our back camera has water on it. Do you have electrical tape? Electrical Where's tape. Where's the rest of the tape? Uh, uh, Maria, how much time is left at this point? Where's the rest of our tape? Electrical tape? Yeah, right here. Unfortunately, the team that? had to pull was, the ro ROV back out of the water, oh. and they're going to keep working on it. Uh, Maria, how much time is left? Just use the Vaseline. Just use the Vaseline. How much time is left? Santa Maria. 15 minutes. We tell us the times. We got five minutes left. They only have 13 minutes left, so I think they need to hurry. Which one? They're doing fine. It's starting to get water on it. Remember, haste makes waste. You got to do it as fast as you can do it and still be safe. That's the important thing. I mean, it, it's not, you know, it's not impossible to get really hurt doing all these things. So always safety is the most important thing. And then, of course, after that, doing your math homework. And then after that, you know, move as fast as you can. It's all about the math. Is that a drop light you just put on there? That's cool. It's a thermonuclear warhead. They want to attach their, their torpedo. Yeah. So there's a little bit of water inside here. Oh, it's one of the lights on their ROV. I was looking at their... Their, their torpedo's pretty cool. They, they've done a good job overall. And I, I love that. just got a very attractive robot. So these robots just look good. You know, for some of them, the ones that don't look as good, they just do, do, do just as well. It's not about, you know. But, you know, when, when one robot sees another robot, they kind of have these thoughts about each other. Like, you know, hey, how come that robot's metal is so shiny and mine's not? You know, it's like they don't understand. I'm, of course, just making this up. And robots are not self-aware. Not yet. The ones that are, are are hidden, you know, under bunkers and, and experiment very closely with because, you know, if they ever become self-aware, it's one thing to be sanctioned, another to be self-aware, and it's another thing just to uh, wear out or, you know, you know, have cutly wear or, or, you know, wear and tear, whether or not, or, you know, bully in logic, illogic, or ill will. Um, 3.1415, you know, or 2.7, or, you know, three times 78 meters per second, you know, whatever, whatever numbers in your head sometimes can be the right answer. In this case, young man here, you know, it's, uh... Okay, if we need to just, like, hook it on the light again. You know, the really great thing about converting, like, they were looking at, the, you did the conversion decimal earlier, 
going from like decimal, it's really easy to pop out the hexadecimal or pop out octal. Yeah. It just, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing about math. I love that. What does that have to do with this robot? Absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm going to say this, and it's going to be very obvious for anyone with a math background, but to me it was really shocking. As I had to, I was teaching computer science, and, and you do the conversion between binary and you know, and that's about all you ever do. Oh, you do two, you know, one's complement and a couple of things. And I went, God, I never thought of this. Can you do long division in binary? You know, just set it up the way you know. This goes into this, and then bring down the... Works beautiful. You can go back Every in. algorithm you learn in decimal in works in the other basis. And then when you stop and think about it, you go, oh yeah, of course. But I've never done it. Decimals, same thing. Throw a decimal point in and just. So you're saying, yeah, you're saying, I've noticed the other day. Well, obviously, all the laws of math apply no matter what. Well, you multiply, base system you multiply, you're using. When you multiply uh, binary, are you actually, you know, one times one is one, or, you know, one is oh, one? Oh, yeah. One times zero is zero? You could teach kids how to multiply in yeah, a but, day, because the times table, you only have four facts. But how do you increment? Do you ever, do you increment? After you we're, did, we're right now doing binary multiplication, for those of you who are curious. So we're going to go off and play here for a minute. Uh, give me a Stand number. by. Get ready to re-engage at Carpoint Station. Stand by. Give me a number. Oh. They're re-engaging Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster. I mean, Let's do, uh, I'm going down now. Okay. They just put their ROV back in the water, but unfortunately, they're not going to be able to complete any more tasks for their mission. But they're just going to try out their robot and see if what's going wrong, see if they can figure it out. Come on, guys, you can do it. We're at the right I see. The lights came loose. All the water's flooding into there. Where the, where the we identify. Was. That's triangle, you can see triangle base right here. Right triangle base there. Right there. Okay. Next to what seems to be a nest. We think no we points for the nest. Okay, well, I'm just identifying what I can. Yeah. 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 At this point, the team is trying to identify as many objects in the water as they can because, remember, identifying objects does accumulate points. So, Maria, are you saying that they uh, they now have we gained control of the rover? I mean, the ROV. It doesn't matter. We have to see. No, they're they're still they're still trying to see if they can, if they can go, but unfortunately, they're pulling by the tether, and I think that's going to be more penalty points. pretty much dead. Yeah, we lost everything. And their battery just well, went dead. Their they battery, didn't their lights lose everything. Anymore. They actually gained everything. The mistakes they made here, you learn more from your mistakes, but I'm sure they're disappointed. But, hey, you guys, you guys are heroes out there. I was watching you work together. Man, I was so inspired. Good job. Good job, guys. A plus for effort. Okay, and remember, total points are presentation, tech manual, and all that. So they still have a bunch of points from other aspects of the game. So, let's see. I think I just about lost my cards here. Yeah, we did better last year. Well, they may not have racked up many points, but they sure, it looked exciting to us. That was, uh, that was cool. No. And by the way, the audience and all the people in here, you know you can go into the pit area and all that and see them as they come in and out and talk to them and all that. We uh, help them diagnose what might have gone wrong. For all the people listening on the Internet that are thinking this is a cool idea, if you look at the web.